three, two, one, go! And on the Red Alliance, as Alliance partners, Bread and Unipar drop off their respective game pieces. Mad Town has already dropped off the one they started with, gone back for one cube, and this time grabbing a cone. Meanwhile, Bread and Unison heading back with the second cube. Well, their Alliance partners make it onto the charging station, Doc, and engaged. Not to be outdone, however, Blue Alliance earned some autonomous scoring of her own, and also a Blue Alliance robot docked and engaged at the end of auto. And that's enough to keep the match close, but it is Red Alliance with the lead as we start Teleop. And as you've seen, and matches they've played before, in fact, just in our last qualification match, it is Madtown and Red, both moving quickly for the Red Alliance, running back and forth from their loading zone while Alliance partners 69-98 run interference for them and keep the field as clear for their partners as possible. However, Blue Alliance is certainly not out of this match yet. Less than 20 points separating our alliances for the time being. 91-25 not moving at the moment for the Blue Alliance, but Alliance partner Gearhead working on scoring in the upper row for the Blue Alliance and their partner Skywalker at their loading zone grabbing a cone and racing back to score it themselves. And on the Red Alliance, meanwhile, they already have their upper row almost entirely filled, soon to be fully filled, perhaps. Once they add, yes, one more cube there. And that is one row completely filled for the Red Alliance now, and another well on its way. And that means with a minute left to go in the match, Red Alliance is pulling ahead. Blue, however, not done just yet. Skywalker's grabbing another cone and racing back, while Alliance partners, Gearhead, have been working on filling out that bottom row with cubes. And Gearheads have one more cube right now, waiting for their Alliance partners to clear a node, and they do get that placed in the bottom row. Blue Alliance almost has their bottom row filled. And we are approaching endgame. Red Alliance has been just relentless, filling up their grid. And as we move into the final 30 seconds, 69.98, they are up on the Red Alliance's charging station. Unfortunately, 91.25 still right next to it. And Bread getting hung up a little bit, snagging the corner of the charging station as I go by. It'll be difficult for them to dislodge that cube now. However, that does not stop Madtown from scoring one more cube and getting Red's grid almost as full as can be. And in the final five seconds, Red, they are up onto the side of the Red Alliance's charging station, getting all three robots in place and level. by a score of 201 points to the Blue Alliance's 110. And so that means that your Red Alliance, 1323, 5940, and 6998,